Hey there. Many of you know that I'm not a big fan of cigarettes. For me, the main issue is the smell. But there's also the health issues around it as well. But, uh, uh, and those health issues have been proven for many, many, many years. That's why the warning labels have been on cigarettes for as long as they have. And in some countries, they put pictures of lungs that are damaged and, you know, people, pictures of people with a hole in their throat and all that sort of thing, you know. But, uh, yeah, I've never been much of a fan of them, but, you know, and, and at one time I had thought that eventually they should be made illegal, but I don't feel that way anymore. I haven't... It's been just over this past month that I changed my view on that, because I really begun to realize how much crime would increase if we were to make them illegal. And I don't just mean people still buying cigarettes even though they're illegal. It would be the element of... I mean, just like some of the reason why there is some crime in the states that, that weed is still illegal, which is just about the whole country, um, that there's still a little bit extra crime associated with that, and that's because people have it in their minds, well, you know, this is illegal and I'm doing this, let's just take the next step to do something else that's illegal. And uh, I guess a way to, to word that is a gateway crime. That's really more the way that a lot of this ends up happening. Uh, you know, someone wants to do something that's not going to hurt anybody else, but it's deemed illegal, and because doing that didn't hurt them or anyone else, that doing something else that's illegal, that doesn't really seem to be that much of a problem, won't be a problem either. So, that's what the uh, keeping drugs illegal kind of does. And, uh, now maybe there's a bit of a slippery slope to that, okay? There could be, okay? This is my hypothesis on this, I, and I may be wrong, but it seems kind of logical, you know? Uh, I know to some degree it was for me. Um, you know, when I was doing weed, when it was still illegal, I would always have these feelings like, well, this, you know, uh, let's not really care that much about the laws. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone, you know, why do we need to follow the laws? That kind of attitude went through my head, so I imagine that would go through some other people's heads too. Um, but, it, uh, anyway, uh, but for me, with cigarettes, the main thing is the smell. Can't stand the smell. I don't, I mean, I don't care if someone just happens to smell like, like cigarettes. That doesn't bother me. It's the fact that when I get into a cloud of cigarette smoke, it makes everything I'm wearing, it makes my beard, my scalp, everything stink like cigarettes. And I'm just not down with that. I don't want to smell like that habit, quite frankly, you know? Um, but I also don't, you know, I don't like being around Glade plugins. I don't like using the public restrooms where they have this little, this little thing on the, on the, the wall high up that, that sprays things into the room every so many minutes. And when you go in there, you come out smelling like a bathroom, <laughs> the bathroom deodorizers, you know, I don't like using those, uh, I don't like walking through the perfume department at places like Macy's, because uh, uh, sometimes, hasn't happened very often, but sometimes they'll be like, uh, you know, testing their perfume on someone, and I'm walking through and I get it on me, oh great, you know, not a fan of that. Um, and these can be considered very superficial things, and maybe they are, but uh, you know, there are some scents that give me really bad headaches. There are some scents that uh, completely clog my sinuses. Uh, there are some scents that make me sneeze a lot, and I'm 
not down with being around them. Uh, cigarette smoke clogs up my sinuses. Just being around someone that smells like cigarettes doesn't do anything, though. So, anyway, I needed to go into that much detail because when I talk about cigarette smell, a lot of people will just think that I'm saying that, oh, I just, I can't, st I can't stand being around the smell of cigarettes. Well, no, I, I, could, I couldn't care less um, about that. It's when something makes me and my clothing and my, my, my glasses and my phone and everything smell like something. So, okay, this video has to be quick because the camera's letting, giving me messages saying the camera's getting kind of warm. Um, but, uh, God, that's almost six minutes just to finally get to the point of this video. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you have to cover all your bases. You take something that should be short and turn it into this long, drown-out thing. But that's what people seem to want me to do, otherwise they'll start naming all these fallacies that I'm making because, you know, it's one of the things I just... <laughs> Anyway, there is a website called Think Again Pierce County that I saw advertised at a bus stop. And I was just like, oh, you gotta be kidding. Now we're, people are starting to demonize e-cigarettes like cigarettes have been demonized. And I'm just like, this is going a little too far, okay? Uh, one of the this parts on it is secondhand vapor effects, not just harmless water vapor. E-cigarette users exhale secondhand aerosol, also referred to as vapor, into the environment. Americans for Non-Smokers' Rights reports that secondhand aerosol contains nicotine, ultrafine particles and cancer-causing metals such as cadmium, chromium, aluminum, lead, nickel, and tin. Contains at least 10 toxic chemicals, including acetone, formaldehyde, and these last four, I don't know what they are, and I don't know how to pronounce them totally, acetaldehyde, propo propanol, diacetin, and triacetine. Exposure can contribute to respiratory problems, airway and eye irritation, asthma, and could trigger a heart attack. Really? The World Health Organization and several other agencies recommend e-cigarettes not be used indoors to, in order to minimize the risk by bystanders breathing in the aerosol emitted by the devices. Then you might as well be going after uh, a lot of the other products that we use, but they're not. It's it's a witch hunt. It's a witch hunt. It's people not wanting those to enjoy nicotine if they enjoy it. And I'm not for that. I'm not for that. You know, the only the main thing I I've cared about is, you know, whether you're messing up my ability to enjoy my life. And when you make me reek of of cigarette smoke, that that gets rid of my some of my ability to enjoy my life. There's a better way of wording that, but anyway. Um, you know, how about, how about alcohol and the, the fumes that come from that when people are have strong alcoholic beverages? There, there's some cancer-causing things there. There are uh, uh, a lot of the hair products, uh, cosmetics, all these sorts of things. They contain lots of things that can give people a lot of health problems, but I don't see, I don't see the uh, Think Again Pierce County going after them. No, no, let's just attack those that want to enjoy nicotine. Ridiculous. It's a witch hunt. And I'm not for that. I'm not. You know, if you enjoy nicotine, you should be able to do it in a way that, that doesn't bother anyone else. And e-cigarettes are a way that you can do it in a way that doesn't bother anyone else. And for people to, to say that you shouldn't be able to do that, no, that's, that's messed up. That's messed up. There should not be a witch hunt against 